The death toll of the fire incident that engulfed offshore shipper exploration and production company limited at the Bukiti terminal has risen to three with four persons still missing. Now the Delta State Government says it will embark on fact finding to ascertain the actual cause and the environmental impact of the incident. Ikinamichi has details. We'll return with the business news afterwards. The incident which occurred last Wednesday left this wreckage of the vessel just barely afloat as the death toll has now risen to three with four persons still missing according to a statement from SEPCO. The company says the latest information came after a joint investigation visit which took place with relevant authorities, stakeholders and expert organizations participating. Meanwhile, the Delta State Government, while regretting the unfortunate incident, confirms that it will embark on an independent visit to ascertain the cause of the fatal incident. But for us as a government, we're still uh, fact-finding, putting things together. We intend to visit the location to see for ourselves and gather as many information as possible as to the root cause of the issue to avoid uh, further occurrence. However, for those that are missing, it's our prayer that they are found alive. We don't want more lives to be lost. We uh, regret any loss of revenue to the company, but we will definitely want to find out what it is to mitigate against a repeat of any such explosions. According to the initial report of the company, the fire of their floating production storage and offloading facility is due to an accident and it is obvious it will affect the aquatic life here. This, the Delta State Government say it will discover on their own. It's a, it's a colossal loss. A vessel of that nature spilling out crude into the Atlantic Ocean. It's not only bad for business, it's also an uh, ecological disaster. As far as the environment is concerned, very bad for aquatic life. And I'm very, very sure it will affect the economy of the locals over there because they can't go fishing in such horrible conditions. In the coming days, more information will be uncovered about the incident as the company restates its priority is establishing the whereabouts, safety, and security of the four crew members still missing. Ikenna Amechi, TVC News, Asaba.